Hi guys and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of lead therapy. And again, I'm doing another one of my reviews for Optics Warehouse. And if you're looking for bang for the buck, this might be the score for you. The T-Eagle SR 3 to 12 by 32 comes in at 125 pound and it's a first focal plane scope. So as ever, Let's start with the walk around. So let's take a closer look at this scope. Up front we start off with a 32mm objective lens and it has front parallax focus. So the parallax focus is on the front ring here not on the side as in some scopes. It parallaxes all the way down to 3 yards and up to infinity so that is going to be great for back garden plinkers etc. It's a 25 millimeter tube and it's a very short and compact scope this would look absolutely beautiful on one of those you know those pistol conversions that people are making into micro bull pups it would look beautiful on them or a bull pup etc now moving down to the turrets the turrets you know this scope is packed with features it's got lockable turrets so you pull them up to unlock and you twist and as you can hear very loud firm audible click push back down to lock and the same for the horizontal adjustment here pull out push in and these are really good to be honest i'm, I'm over the moon i have seen worse turrets on a score four times this price and on the side here we have an illuminated reticle and it's only the very center dot of the um reticle that illuminates and i quite like that but it doesn't just illuminate in red or green, it illuminates in both. So you can choose whether you want red or green and you can pick which one you prefer. Um, very clear, there are several levels of intensity as well. So, you know, there's something there to suit everybody. Moving back down the 25 millimeter tube here, we come to the um, magnification adjuster and that is smooth it's easy to use it's um just about the right tension when you're moving it and you can move your magnification all the way from three yards sorry three times magnification all the way through to 12 times magnification and for such a little scope i think that's amazing and then at the back like every other scope we have the um eye adjuster which helps you adjust the reticle so it's nice and clear for the prescription of your eye the scope overall is finished in a satin black coating very nice seems to be durable but again i'm going to keep saying this it's 125 pound and i can't believe that you have all these features like locking caps you know green and red illuminated reticle etc all built into this scope and let's talk about the reticle it's a first focal plane scope and what does that mean well, that means that when you turn the magnification up, your reticle expands with the object you're looking at. And why do you want that? Well, I'll tell you why you want that. It's because when you're shooting at different distances, you obviously use the different increments on the scope. And with a normal, normal second focal plane scope, the reticle stays the same size. And if you change the magnification, you have to change the calculation of your aim points and which increment you use but on a first focal plane scope because the reticle expands 
with the object that you're aiming at, you can use the same increments of holdover that you would for that distance without having to recalculate it because the reticle stays in proportion to the um, object that you're shooting. Now, this is a fantastically, um, it's a fantastic feature for a scope of this price. Obviously, there are some limitations to that. On very low magnification, such as three, the reticle can seem tiny. And when you move it up towards 12 magnification, it becomes a little more robust and bigger and easier to see. And this is why, in general, although this scope goes up to um, 12 magnification, you'll find that there aren't many first focal plane scopes above 30 magnification because the reticle becomes too chunky to use after that point. But I can assure you, this reticle remains usable all the way from 3 to 12 magnification, although for me, it's a little small on 3 magnification. It's a Christmas tree reticle, and as I said before, that little dot in the middle is the only part that illuminates when you put the illuminated reticle on. Now, that's not all. In the box, what more do you want? In the box, it comes with some dovetail mounts, as you can see here, adequate for the job. They work perfect. I've got them on here. You know, Bob's your uncle. You don't need to buy any mounts if you have a dovetail um, air rifle. Then it also comes with scope caps, as you can see here. Standard push-on scope caps with a spring in that keeps the um, flap up when you're shooting. Absolutely bob on. And then it also comes with a sunshade. What more do you want? The sunshade screws on the front and it's fantastic. So this scope is everything a beginner or somebody who has a small light rifle would need to plink or hunt at reasonable distances. So how does it shoot? Well, I thought I'd devise a slightly different test than my normal tracking test. And the reason why it was on 12 magnification, I couldn't see my two millimeter dot at 25 meters. But joking aside, I wanted to show off the great feature of this scope, which is the first focal plane capabilities. So what I've done is I will shoot the gun at three different distances, at three different magnifications, to show how your aim points don't change using different magnifications. So, should we see how I got on? Here we go. Right, guys, so this is my test target. And what I did was, obviously, I sighted the scope in on another target to get used to it before I did the test target. And I figured out what all my aim points were. Um, in relation to the points of impact. So, starting off here, I was aiming dead centre on the scope, the middle dot, at 12 times magnification, at 25 yards here. And this is a three-shot group, and it's pretty bang on. And then I turned it down to eight times magnification to see if I could repeat it. And then I turned it down to four times magnification. And I'll be honest with you, I was guessing, because remember I told you, uh, that when you turn the magnification down on a first focal plane scope, the reticle shrinks. Well, the reticle was tiny, and I was essentially guessing where I was meant to be aiming. And I pulled this group off here, and this is going on my wall of fame in the shed is one of my bunkers, massive achievements that I'm over the moon with, that I managed to do a seven, eight mil group at 25 yards with a four times scope. I never thought that was even possible. But that would happen with any other gun if you're using the cent any other scope, the second focal plane scope, if you're shooting using dead centre on the scope. Where the magic starts with a second, sorry, with a first focal plane scope is that um, when you choose your new increment on your reticle for the new distance, I shot using the new increment on the reticle, I shot this group here at 12 times and then I turned the magnification down to eight times on a normal second focal plane scope you would have to find a new aim point on the reticle but you don't remember on a first focal plane scope once you find your aim point at a certain distance on the reticle it doesn't change no matter what the magnification is so using the same 
aim point on the reticle for 12 and 12 yards I shot all these groups all the way down for magnification using the same place on the reticle that is the magic of first focal plane scopes and for the back garden guys who haven't got enough you know I've got enough room to you know stretch out the 25 yards I went all the way down to six yards and it was still great fun and I could still utilize the scope at 12 8 and 4 yards all I had to do was change my aim point on my reticle and um, the that aim point was consistent again through all the magnifications as it should be on a first focal plane scope hopefully um, this shows you the magic because on a second focal plane scope as you change your magnifications you have to amend the increments you use on the reticle to suit so if you don't want to learn multiple increments on mul on your reticle at multiple magnifications and um, first focal plane scopes can be simpler the only drawback is that the reticle can get a little small or a little large depending on the scope you're using the positives about this scope are obviously it's 125 pound it is a great entry into the world of first focal plane scopes and you can learn about how they work and whether you actually like them or not because you know it's down to personal taste the other thing is everything you need if you have a rifle with a dovetail rail on it is included in the box you have the mounts you have the score caps you know and you even get a sunshade what more do you want for that price it shoots well i enjoyed it people everybody from the back garden plinker through to you know a hunter who doesn't want a expensive scope on his gun out in the field in case he drops his gun scratches it, etc it's going to suit many types of people and to be honest for 125 pound i'll keep saying this i don't see how you can go far wrong with you know giving yourself the experience of a first focal plane scope and as i said it's going to be more suited towards beginners and people with smaller lighter air rifles there are a few considerations you've got to remember at this price point you're not getting a 500 pound scope and you're not getting ed glass but the scope is clear enough it's usable the illuminated reticle although not the crispest is still very usable and the only other consideration i have is really that um some shooters could grow out of this scope quite quickly and move on to more expensive first focal plane scopes like every air rifle shooter does my final thoughts on this scope are you're not going to get more bang for the buck in many other places it comes with all those extras you need and if you're new to the shooting world you can learn how to use a sunshade correctly you can learn what type of illuminated reticle you like you can also learn what a first focal plane scope is and see whether you like that as an option on a scope it is really an economical way to get into the adventure of air gunning and utilize many features that are on more expensive scopes i keep saying this i really enjoyed my time shooting this scope it is mismatched it's probably on one of the most accurate bench rest rifles in the country at the moment but when you're shooting at 25 yards on three magnification you feel like you you know you're shooting a mile out and it actually adds a, an extra dimension to a fun shoot on a sunday morning would i buy this scope if i had a the type of gun that would um you know utilize this scope well like a small bullpup yes i would because um you know it's fun and i really enjoyed fiddling with the first focal plane aspect of it because it's a long time since i had um a first focal plane scope so i've enjoyed my time with this as i keep saying you're not going to get better bang for the buck and i hope that if anybody decides to to buy one of these they have as much fun as i did but until next time guys remember you get out there and keep living that air gun dream and take care